to the stage, the wonderful Tim Clark! Thank you, Bergen, that was fantastic. It's like being born again. Thank you very much, how are you, you all right? Fellow bald man in the front, I always like, let, let me touch it to look at that. Fresh, I freshly shaved mine, I use the, um, what's the, what's the, the Mac, not the Mac 3, the Mac 3 Turbo. <laughs> Men's razors, brilliant, macho names. Women's razors, women's razors, madam, very ladylike names, like the Phillips Lady Shaver, that one for German women, the Braun Hoffermower. <laughs> So, um, uh, so everyone from, um, uh, is everyone from Norway or are people from further afield than that? Or you're, you're not from, where are you from, madam? Finland. You're from Finland? Okay. What? Good. I'm, I could use all my Helsinki jokes. Fantastic. Um, what are you, what are you doing in Norway? You're with him? He looks like a man who hasn't had a shag for some time, if you ask me. And he, uh, you're a Norwegian man, sir? Yeah. Uh, what do you do in Norway? IT, so you do normally fuck all. <laughs> and Finland, and anywhere else, any Brits in? Have we got any Brits? There are one or two. I heard the voices before. I know there are. They're just keeping very, very, very quiet. <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm, uh, and the lads look at you like, how old are you? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> and what are you, student? No. Well, no, what do you do? I work in a sports store. You work in a sports store. Sold anything today? So you never sell anything. You? <laughs> you should really go to Finland. <laughs> I'm a great lover as well, my uh, married man. Um, we've got a couple here. How long have you two been together? Don't look so bored, sir. <laughs> is he a good lover, madam? <laughs> <laughs> I said, is he a good lover? And she went, <laughs> No, I am, I am. My, my wife's uh, never actually told me this. Um, <laughs> but the other night after we'd made love and I was strutting naked round the bedroom, glass of Dom Perignon in one hand, cigar in the other, she looked at me through those beautiful eyes and said, what a prick. <laughs> and I looked down and went, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's good, we flew over here, we flew um, uh, Norwegian dot no, do you know the airline? Yeah, yeah look, we even got a cheer there. Do you, why do you like it so much? Cause, it's a bit shit. <laughs> Actually, it was lovely. It was marvellous. Lovely stewardesses. It was, because some airlines you go on. I was on an airline the other day. Stewardesses were so old. So old. The woman was pushing the trolley. She was using it as a Zimmer frame. I said, I'll have a gin and tonic. She said, I'm 82. Virgin's my favourite airline. Anyone flown Virgin? You ever been? Yeah? Yeah? Where, where did you go, sir? Chicago, look at you, you're cool. <laughs> what were you doing in Chicago? Uh, we drove. You, uh, car. Really you nicked a car? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you found the girl, then you kidnapped the girl from Finland. And I have to say, if you ever want to buy some sportswear, don't go to him. Virgin, I like Virgin, it's a Virgin Atlantic, marvelous. I was coming back on a Virgin plane last time I was away. And I believe it's America, actually, LA. That's funny the way they say that, LA. Not Los Angeles, LA. If you're from Bergen, you're from B. <laughs> if you're from Oslo, you're from O. If you're from Wales, you're from a bit of a shithole. <laughs> Virgin Airlines, coming back on the Virgin plane, the captain came on and uh, he said, I'd like to introduce you to the cabin crew led by the lovely Leslie. And Leslie came along, red top, red skirt bit too much makeup, but a lovely man. <laughs> and, and the security so tight now when you, when you get to the check-in. I, uh, I got to the check-in, I put my case down, and the man said to me, are there any le electrical goods in your bag? So I said, like what? He said, like a hairdryer. <laughs> oh yeah, just at the bottom by the curling tongs. <laughs> And don't mess about, don't mess about, because I was in a bit of a devil may care mood the day I got there. I put the case down, he said, um, did you pack this bag yourself, sir? I said, pack it myself, you must be joking, a mate of mine from the Hezbollah did. <laughs> they didn't like that at all, ladies and gentlemen. So we have, a, so you, uh, do you know all these guys? Are you, uh, yeah, yeah we, you all work in the same sports shop? Do you? Right, so what's your speciality, the shoes? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 
He said that with such pride. You didn't see his face as he went, shoes. What's your favourite shoe? Now you look. Now you're looking at me like I'm a serial killer. So like, and the ladies here, how are you? You don't work in sports shops, do you? What do you, what do you do? You're a teacher, what do you teach? Norwegian, that must be easy for you. <laughs> Being in Norway. Because I've tried actually, I've learned a few things. I've learned um, Tusentak, um, Hadbra. Um, I think the only thing you need to know when you buy something is when they give you it, just go, call me, huh? How much? <laughs> Everything's so expensive. I actually learned a couple of phrases. Um, I, I learned a couple of uh, phrases that I, should, that, that, that I should learn. I've written them down here. Two phrases I learned. That was all I could find. Two phrases. Er der trickt aus firma. Ha? Did you understand it? <laughs> Didn't you? Oh, uh, okay, I'll do it again. Er der trickt aus firma. Ha? <laughs> what did you think I said? Yeah, what, what was I saying in English? <laughs> Can I have some shoes? <laughs> I was saying, uh, 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 what I think it means is, is it safe to swim here? Is that right? Yeah. Is it safe to swim here? And then the other one I learned was this, which was, Can yai bestila and drosha? <laughs> okay? Where can I get a taxi, is that right? Okay, so I learned these. I learned them off by heart. I learned everything. This is a year ago when I first came here. And I wanted a taxi. So I get, went down to the hotel reception and I went right up and I said, right, I'm gonna get this right, I'm gonna get this right. And I went, er der trickt aus firma, ha? Huh? Ha! <laughs> and she went, no. <laughs> It's a lovely hotel though, lovely hotel, uh, lots of fish. I went to the breakfast this morning, fish everywhere, fish on plates, fish in cups, fish in bowls, fish on platters, fish in big glass dishes. I went to reception, I said, is there anywhere where I can go to, as a tourist to see something? She said, the fish market. <laughs> so I went down there, more fish in boxes, fish on plates, fish in glasses, fish in tubes. I assumed it was toothpaste. <laughs> I can't kiss anyone for a week. Unless it's a fisherman, but they've all fucked off. Because <laughs> there's no fish. Who's been to Britain? You ever been to Britain? Anything like that? I've been to Scotland. Scotland, okay. Now that's good, because it's like Scandinavia's a bit like Britain, in that there's, well, not so similar, but you've got kind of Norway, Denmark, and um, Sweden, and a bit. Finland's not part of it, is it? Of what? Uh, of what? <laughs> of the cool section of the world. <laughs> It's not part of Scandinavia, am I right? Well, it's like so-and-so. So-and-so? <laughs> I think it's not. I'm going to ask the shoe expert. <laughs> Is Finland a part of Scandinavia, sir? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Yeah. No, you see all the intelligent people. <laughs> I think you're secretly Swedish, aren't you? <laughs> Britain's similar. We have England, we have Scotland, we have Wales, all different ethnic, 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 different ethnic people, where the, the English are mostly Anglo-Saxon, the Welsh are, are mostly Celts, the Scots are mostly pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been to Scotland, the, 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 the big guy there, have you been to, to Britain? No. Where, where was the last place you went on your holidays? I don't know where it was, but I bet it involved beer. <laughs> Oslo. Oslo, okay, you're adventurous, aren't you? Fucking hell. I'd like to live with you. Where are we going? The end of the street. <laughs> lots of there's lots of nice. Nice to be away from England. I was work just before I came here. I was working in Yorkshire. Anyone anyone been to Yorkshire? It's a county in the north of England. It's full of tough towns. Tough towns. You get towns like that you'll have heard of, like Leeds and Bradford and Wakefield. Then you get a town called Harrogate. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> it's like this soft, southern town in the middle of Yorkshire. I reckon God was giving out the towns and he picked up Harrogate and he thought, right, I'll just take this fucker down south. Oh shit, I've dropped it. <laughs> I'm going to have to take some shithole down south to make up for it. Hang on, Portsmouth. <laughs> What's this shit I keep stepping in, old Birmingham? 
and I like Birmingham. If you go, go. All these places are lovely. Birmingham, there's a brilliant sign on the motorway, at the bottom of the motorway by London. It just says uh, one thing. It says the North and the Midlands. <laughs> the Midlands. And you thought, the Midlands, if that was Lord of the Rings, the Midlands. <laughs> It'll be full of odd little people that speak in a strange way. And it fucking is so. <laughs> I should go there when you've been to Oslo again. There's another, that was a great sign up. I forgot about this. Uh, it, it's if you buy the, on, on the motorway there, and it, it's just because Shakespeare was, was born near that. It says you are now entering Warwickshire, Shakespeare's county. I never thought of that. That must have meant Shakespeare was a brummy. <laughs> From Birmingham, imagine him in his cottage with his girlfriend. All right, Sam, what do you think of this? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? I think you cheat. And I think, yeah, what amazes me is your capacity. And I bet you don't just speak English. You speak English perfectly, sir. Do you speak anything else? Uh, Norwegian, obviously. Norwegian, the language of shoes. Anything else? Norwegian and what about the Oslo man? Norwegian and English, very well, which is remarkable. It impresses me so much. You see footballers on the TV, like, like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Arne, John Arne Risa, the footballers I know, speaking perfect English. We're, in England, we're shit at this. You've probably noticed, I guess. We, uh, and I get really embarrassed about this when I go away, that we've got some um, French friends come and stay with us every year. Have we fuck them, making them up? <laughs> And they speak perfect, perfect English. I speak no French at all. And I hear myself saying things like, in England, we are very bad at learning foreign languages. And I can feel them looking at me as much as say, dickhead. <laughs> or Ricard Tet, perhaps. And I wouldn't have minded, but I made a real effort, a real effort to make these French people feel at home. I got loads of wine in, I put them some garlic in the food. I, I dug a big hole in the floor for them to shit in. <laughs> you're all going to say you're French, you know. <laughs> and, I, 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 and I made a real effort to learn it, you know. And they say that, they say you've really learned a language, and you all know this, when you can think in it. Is that right? When you can think in it. When you speak English to me, you're thinking in it. Is that right? Which is, which is that's your thinking hat. <laughs> which is great. Because I tried to do this. I started to learn French. I started to think in it before I knew it. It was murder. I was driving along the motorway one day and a car cut me up and I thought, je ne rien, mon ne plus pardonné. I didn't know what the fuck I was thinking about. <laughs> the Dutch. Dutch are remarkable. Dutch, you're better because I've worked in Holland and um, I've worked uh, here in Norway and Belgium, Germany. Germany, that's a laugh. And, <laughs> and the Dutch are remarkable, not as good as you. And two other things about the Dutch. One, they take lots and lots of drugs. <laughs> two, they wear clogs. <laughs> now, I don't think these two things are unconnected. <laughs> <laughs> Because let's face it, you've got to take a lot of drugs to wear clogs. <laughs> hey, Johan, I'm going for a walk. Shall I wear these comfortable cushion-soled loafers? <laughs> no, Marco. Why not wear these bits of heavy plywood? <laughs> Which bounce up and down uncomfortably as you walk. <laughs> Great idea, Johan. <laughs> Yes, married man, as I said, we've got a lot of couples here. We've got, who, who's the couple here? A couple there? A um, the guy on his own? <laughs> With a t-shirt that says, fuck you, I'm from hell. <laughs> and he's not with a woman. <laughs> who would have guessed? And um, yes, I've been. Uh, now, I don't know about the couples here. We, we've, um, we're the, 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 the gentleman who went to Chicago and the, oh, you two, the, the Finnish lady. How, how long did you say you've been together? I'm sorry. Nine months. Six years. You know, she hasn't got a clue. <laughs> it's, uh, do you, uh, but so not long. You're in that first phase. Do you, do you, do you ever argue? Not really, no. He nodded and she went, not really. <laughs> You've been having one argument for nine months. Do you ever, oh no, you haven't got a girlfriend. Look, real women, not on computer screens, fantastic. 
I think it's good to argue. You've got to argue. You can't, and one day, boys, you'll all get girlfriends. Well, if you lose the hat, which is the finest contraceptive I've ever seen, quite frankly. You've got... Uh, very good. That was 1-0 to you in our little competition. You didn't see that? He said, I've got hair. You don't. Well, give him a round of applause. That was very good. And your, and your timing was perfect. Your timing was perfect. Your timing was perfect, but don't fucking try it on again. <laughs> it was a bit like the third round. You know, in England, we have the FA Cup, and in the third round, the non-league teams play the Premier League teams, and occasionally the non-league teams get an early goal. Your early goal. <laughs> End of the night, 9-1. <laughs> You've got to argue. You've got to argue. You can't keep these things suppressed. Let it all out. The only arguments I don't like, and the couples will recognize this, you know when you're having an argument and you go out to meet some people, but the argument hasn't been resolved. <laughs> and you've got to pretend you're not arguing. <laughs> so you're in the car like this. Fuck off, just fuck off. <laughs> and women, <laughs> women, you're the best at this. Because women like, fuck off, just fuck off. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Steve. <laughs> we had this fabulous night last night. There was this mad way to have this lovely bottle of wine. Us blokes, us fellas are over here thinking, brilliant, the argument's over. <laughs> I'll join in. Yeah, then we couldn't get a cab home because you were pissed, lovely top. <laughs> A nice presence, buy a nice presence. I haven't talked to you people there, the, the, the gentleman there. What's your name, sir? Hasper. Hasper? Hasper, what a great name. Hasper? And you say it like that, kind of enthusiastically. You bound up in parties. Hi, Hasper. Yeah, Hasper, can I have some shoes? Hasper and. Karina. Sheila. Karina. Oh, Karina, what a lovely name. Hasper and Karina. What? You sound like poets. What do you two do? Accounting. accounting. Okay, I was wrong, wasn't I? Really? <laughs> You're poets in spirit, aren't you? Which is... And what did what did Hasper buy you for your birthday, Karina? Anything nice? He, he forgot my birthday. He forgot your birthday. <laughs> oh. You forgot the birthday, Hasper, because you were too busy accounting, weren't you? Here's a tip, buy nice presents. I bought my wife, some of the ladies will be familiar with this, is some very exotic and exclusive and expensive lingerie from a company called Agent Provocateur. Have you heard of this? It's very expensive, very expensive stuff, very expensive. How, mu how much do you think a bra costs at Agent Provocateur? Bearing in mind, I'm asking you because I can tell you, you haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> I don't blame you, sir. I don't blame you. I didn't. I didn't either. It, it's an extraordinary amount of money. I couldn't believe it. It's extraordinary. A bra, an agent provocateur, a uh, hundred pounds, which is what? A thousand kroner. Extra it's extraordinary amount. And that's just the bra, not all the other stuff, the kosh, the gag. A hundred pounds. <laughs> and Hasper and Karina, I'm sure you know this. How, how, long, how long have the pair of you been together? A 